I want to start out by expressing my thoughts and prayers. I don't know what I want to say. It. I, I'm I'm greatly concerned over the the health of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I, I wish her the best. I hope she has a safe recovery. This is breaking news. It happened uh, earlier. I record these videos a little uh, a couple hours before they publish. Ruth Bader Ginsburg just had surgery on malignant tumors in her lungs, and there's a serious issue and ramifications for the health. Of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but let's 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 all be reasonable, rational, and caring, empathetic human beings, and wish her another 10, 20 years of, of of long life. Nothing but respect for her long her long career. I hope that everybody who who's watching the story recognizes that differences in politics in in this country should never be grounds for celebrating a sickness of, of, of somebody, especially someone who has served their country their entire lives proudly. And, you know, I understand there's a difference in politics. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is considered to be a, a liberal member of the Supreme Court. But I, I always just want to say, like, these are people who have dedicated themselves to doing what they can for this country. And America has done some really great things and some really bad things. But I have been around the world and I've seen some horrors and so I am truly grateful for what we've been able to accomplish in this country, granting civil rights. We're not the best. We do a pretty good job in terms of respecting the rights of individuals, more so than many other countries. And so I have nothing but respect for anybody who's willing to step up and dedicate their life to public service. And that goes especially for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And this is serious because you have to understand the ramifications of this will, will likely benefit conservatives in the long run. I want to read through this story and then I want to talk about uh, what happened and the ramifications for what's uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's uh, uh, illness. Long story short, she broke her ribs not too long ago in a fall, and that's terrifying and serious. And then in uh, the checkup, they discovered malignant tumors, and she's had them removed. So this this is uh, a sad story, very very sad. Um, and it's going to have political ramifications that we're going to talk about. Newsweek has a story. Take my lung. Twitter reacts to Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's surgery announcement. And I, 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 I respect the sentiment, people wanting to give up an organ to help protect Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but you have to realize that at 85 years old, I believe she's 85, I, I don't know if she's capable of, of a transplant, even if that were the case. So I, I can respect the sentiment. You know, this is, this, is discon this is sad, sad, sad. So they say, the Supreme Court's announcement that Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg underwent surgery on Friday to remove cancerous nodules from her left lung drew emotional Twitter reactions. And, and, and look, people on the left... I feel like are trying to downplay this. People on the right, I feel like are just calling it for what it is because it is serious. There's, there's a reason why, the, in my opinion, the left would want to downplay this. Look, they say it's cancerous nodules, right? But they were malignant. My, my understanding is that the digital tweet said this is a malignant cancer, okay? And this is serious. A number of users posted messages about donating their lungs to the justice while politicians and others offered wishes for the 85-year-old to recover quickly. And they, they've, they've, they've done the thing where they've pulled the, the, the random tweets. But uh, Chuck Wendig, who is a verified user, said, Literally, whatever parts of my body Ruth Bader Ginsburg needs, I will donate them. Let's also get her a robotic exoskeleton and a bulletproof Pope mobile and a Herculean amount of bubble wrap. Well, I don't know about the Pope mobile or the bubble wrap, but a robo exoskeleton would be really awesome. James Hamblin says, If you're 85 and you break a rib and get a CT... The radiologist will very likely find pulmonary nodules. Most, most aren't removed since hers are now out, and there's apparently no evidence of metastatic disease. The primary issue is recovery from the procedure. James Hamblin, I don't know what his, his, if he's a doctor or something, but my understanding is it's malignant. Let me just make sure that's... Uh, I'm pretty sure they said it was malignant. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, that's what I saw earlier, so... Maybe, maybe, I, we'll, we'll keep reading. Be well, tough lady, we need you, wrote Julie Cohen and co-director, and co-directed RBG, a movie about the life and career of the justice. So look, I think it's, I think it's fair, we get it. A lot of people are, are, are coming out and talking about what happened. We have this statement from uh, Mike Valerio, I'm not sure who he is. He posted this, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg underwent surgery today for early stage lung cancer, according to the Supreme Court Public Information Officer. The 85-year-old is at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York. No traces of disease found after surgery. So I don't know where I read malignant. Maybe I, maybe I was wrong. I don't, I don't want to overstate things. You know, I want to make sure that this is, uh, this is correct. Okay, yes, malignant. Uh, I was correct. Vox, the Vox story I pulled up. She underwent surgery for malignant lung growths. 
So let me let me walk back a little bit of what I said because it sounds like Vox is actually pointing out how serious this is. Malignant is is serious, and um, you know, they, t- they talk about basically the same thing. They published the, the the press statement, and this this comes after a month ago when she broke three ribs. Uh, this is an old story. It's the Supreme Court's longest serving liberal fell in her office on Wednesday night. Longest serving liberal. There's some there's some serious issues that I think we need to talk about in terms of the Supreme Court as it stands. As you know, right now we have two Supreme Court justices appointed by Donald Trump. And that shifts the court to what people are calling conservative. Now, I think it's, 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 it's fair and important to point out the Supreme Court is supposed to be independent, not swayed by liberal or conservative. We have two, uh, we have, uh, two Supreme Court justices here, Gorsuch and Kavanaugh, who are appointed by Trump. Gorsuch is 51 and Kavanaugh is 53. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is 85 and Stephen Breyer is 80, and they're both considered liberal members of the court. They typically side on issues with a liberal perspective. Ruth Bader Ginsburg's health is, is, is the reason why people are saying, take my lung, take an exoskeleton, is because it is very likely, I, I, I mean, I believe this, this, this may be the case, that based on the age of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, she will not, she will retire, um, she will retire before Donald Trump is out of office, especially if Trump wins a second term. But there's still another, I mean, year and a half or longer of Trump in office, which means, or, or two years. So that means that in, in, in all likelihood, Trump will appoint at least one more Supreme Court justice. But it's also important to point out Stephen Breyer, who is 80 years old. Now, men have a shorter life expectancy than women. We are also looking at Stephen Breyer, who is considered a liberal member of the court. If he goes, if he retires, now I, my understanding is that Ginsburg says she's going to serve as long as she, as long as she, she has she has life. But if they go, Trump is going to appoint four Supreme Court justices, and that is going to impact the court for generation, for more than a, more than a generation, for decades. Already, Trump has appointed two. But I also want to point out the further ramifications. Look at what happened with Brett Kavanaugh. Brett Kavanaugh recently made a decision that defended Planned Parenthood, essentially. And I have to imagine that'd be a shock to the liberals who tried to remove him because Brett Kavanaugh acted with integrity and principle. Now look at this. Look at the the voting margin uh, of uh, approval, Senate uh, committee vote. 50 to 48 for Brett Kavanaugh, one of the narrowest margins in history, the narrowest since we've had uh, 50 states. And Clarence Thomas was 52-48, also extremely narrow. You've got John Roberts, who was not 78 to 22. Even Breyer, well respected, 87 to nine. So we're and, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg was 96 to three. This is this. There's also the interesting point that Ginsburg, who was appointed, and Breyer both appointed by Clinton, were accepted by by the Senate. Like yeah, straight up. Okay, bring these people in. Not not much conflict. And they're going to go. And we're we and we're facing these past two. It's been it's been very very divisive. One of the concerns I have is the brutal and politically, metaphorically, bloody battle over Brett Kavanaugh with lies, smears, misrepresentations. I, I have to imagine that if, if Ginsburg goes out, it's going to be, it's going to be bad. And I think the left knows it. They know that we are, we are very likely going to see Trump appointing four in total which means Supreme Court will be heavy conservative for generations. Now, naturally, this is great news for conservatives. But I'll, I'll say one more time that I hope we can see past politics and just say long, like, look, people age. We don't live forever. It, it, it will happen. And I have nothing, nothing but respect for, for these members of the Supreme Court. But I think we all need to expect and understand that there will come a time that Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Stephen Breyer, and, and many others who are on the court. I mean, Clarence Thomas is 70. There will come a time when they're no longer with us. That will happen. And in, in based on their age and based on the health issues Ruth Bader Ginsburg is facing, I think we're going to see Brett Kavanaugh 2.0. You know, I, I want to point, like, the reason why I think it's so serious with what happened with Brett Kavanaugh is that we know these stories were made up. Not all of them. Most of them are definitively proven to have been made up. And even after you have these claims made against him, even after he gets sworn in, you don't see the activists coming out and calling uh, and, and in anger over 
the accusations against Kavanaugh, right? If Kavanaugh actually did the things he was accused of, why did the activists stop? One reason, it was political. It was tribal. They, I have to imagine they don't actually believe Kavanaugh did any of these things because they don't care that he's Supreme Court justice now. You'd think they'd be currently acting to remove him or do something, but they don't care. Imagine that, that ferocity, that reckless abandon, the disregard for someone's life coming again and again. If we see two more appoint, appointments by Donald Trump, I have to imagine they will refine the tactics. The smears will be worse. But there's a, a, a female justice who may be appointed by Trump. She was on the list. I can't remember her name. But, but, but I have to imagine it'll still be particularly bad if that's the case. So look, long story short, I wanted to mention the breaking news about us. I, I wasn't initially planning to talk about what happened with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but it's, it's very serious. I think it needed to be brought up. And it's, it's, look, I think everyone needs to accept that it's going to be very likely that two more Supreme Courts, at least one more, in Trump's presidency. So, you know, comment below, let me know what you, th let me know what you think. And I just hope everyone can be respectful of life, see past politics to realize it's more important that we wish for the safety and health of, of, of all peoples of our country, and that we would grant respect to someone like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who served so long uh, in the interests of this country. So, yeah, comment below. I'll, more videos, whatever. I'll see you soon.